Uh, okay, so right now, Sean's gonna teach me how to fight. I brought my shin guards, and I didn't bring anything for my face, but, I mean, a fight's a fight, so. Do you know how hard it is? Do you know how it is to get a kick checked? Don't kick me, though. No, I'm telling you to kick me. You're gonna kick me. You're gonna check it really hard? I'm not gonna check, I'm gonna check it like you're supposed to. Just send it. I like that little. So there we go, <laughs> send it. How about your leg kick? You gotta get a leg kick? No. Hot. Ow, Sean, my leg! <laughs> I love it because everybody watching has no idea what that feels like. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that hurts really bad. There we go, one, two. Drop your elbows, ah, tight, one, two. Ah, I love Nina. She's like one of the best personalities in the UFC. You just do whatever the she wants to do and like it's actually a good time. Okay, that's a wrap. I just sparred with Sean Strickland. <laughs> Let's party on, guys. Now we're going to do a massage and do a recover and relax a little bit for the next training at night. My physiotherapist of years is with me here, Sr. Lucas, the best that we have. Cara, eu conheci a Maíra há quatro anos e meio, quase cinco anos atrás. Eu venho fazendo um acompanhamento com ela. A Maíra é uma pessoa assim, cara, ela é muito profissional. Tem muita consciência corporal, muito comprometida com em cuidar do corpo dela, com o sono, com a alimentação. Então isso é muito importante. <risos> Boa, garota! É nóis, É o seu momento. Agora uma coisa assim. Eu pareci que eu sabia falar inglês. Ah, você sabe. Tá muito tonta, né, cara? Parecia que eu sabia falar inglês. Já fiquei pitia legenda. Vencedora desse momento. Nós somos, trabalhamos duro pra isso aqui, né? Trabalhamos muito duro pra isso há anos. Anos falando isso. Muito interessante, cara. Yeah, it's a beautiful one. <laughs> I've done it in here a few times. Yeah, like it's easier when there's no wind because you yeah. get out and yeah, you're like you're cool. Fine. It's like you're fine, but like with the wind, I with guess the wind, at least there's no snow on the beaches because your feet are not. Gonna be <laughs> <in the beach. laughs> no, in South Africa, that's something you never hear: snow on the beach. <laughs> it's my birthday today, the big number three and zero, and. Well, I guess uh, some people have a party and I'm having this, but luckily right. I'll have a nice shiny belt <laughs> by the end of the week. Are you guys ready? So we're at Niagara Top Team, my main MMA gym for live wrestling and sparring. This is like the last training session of camp, really. Yes, rotate, rotate. By far the healthiest I've ever been going into a fight. It's like I've got such great training partners that emulate my opponent and, and give me the looks that I need. And the coaches I have are like really dedicated. It feels really systematic. Having Mike as a teammate, it's absolutely amazing. Mikey, he's like a wealth of knowledge. Say I'm struggling with something, I can go and ask him and he'll have all the answers. You look up a martial artist in the dictionary, that's Mike Malad's picture right there. So every Mike Malad fight is an exciting fight. And you know what he says, by striker, by strangle. I don't see it go in the distance. I can't wait for him.
It, it means a lot to fight with these guys on the same card. This is the third time that uh, Jasmine and I are fighting on the same card. Series jumping on this one too. We're undefeated so far and we're going to keep that, that trend going. Gets me all amped up. Three, two, one. Hey! Working on some basic grappling stuff, top control, getting up off bottom, grappling control positions. I hope at some point, you know, people get to see the kind of grappler that he is. He's a smart fighter, so he never feels the need to like do anything other than what's necessary to win. They're they're not uh, they're not fight camp fighters, so they're always training. They're always training hard. Boom, boom, boom! There we go. Going to Canada to go fight a South African. How much freedom do I get to like talk in, like Canada? I like then I got free speech there, right? That's awesome, man. Thanks. Where'd you come from? Uh, Vegas. Oh, Vegas. We're in Vegas. You're fighting here in Toronto? Yeah, man. They're gonna tax the out of me. I mean, it look like it's nicer, you know. It's nice. Oh, yeah, I'm coming from LA, bro. We've all been to LA. There's no f***ing skin row. You got, hey, you got a lot of homeless encampments here. It's too cold, right? Yeah, probably. Well, too cold, yeah. We're in uh, lovely Canada. It was way easier getting to Canada than Australia. I don't know what that means, but here we are, hanging out, trying not to eat, maybe go for a run. Um, depends how I feel. Yes, boy. He is one half of the main event at UFC 297, looking to become the first South African champion in UFC history. Drake is two place. See, great to have you here. Now, Sean Strickland, of course, we had the fight before the fight, UFC 296. It happened, nobody got hurt, and uh, he now knows how strong I am. He's felt that. And no matter what he says, how he tells the story, in his mind, he knows that. Mentally, I think he's a, he's a weaker, not weak as a, as a man, I gave him a lot more credit than he originally deserved in terms of how mentally strong he is. He's an emotional guy, emotional fighter, and some guys really fight well with that emotion and some guys don't. So after the fight, there is no tomorrow. For me, my whole life stops come 20 January. I don't think about what happens after that. I don't think about what happened before that. I think about one thing, and that's beating Sean Strickland I'm gonna be champion of the world, or I will die trying. Take his duplex, he's in the main event against Sean Strickland. It's UFC 297, the UFC returns to Toronto this Saturday night. Drake, thank you for doing this. Thank you for having me.